Hi, I'm Nesvers and I do stuff. Recently I was working on a sound effect system because I wanted to solve some problems. For example, like uh, triggering the same sound at the same time, multiple times, you just get a louder sound. And triggering the same sound multiple times, uh, repeatedly, it creates a uh, robotic sound, uh, usually referred as uh, machine gun sound. And in this video I wanted to share the solution with you. If you already di didn't know how to do that or want to know how I do stuff, I hope to teach you how to create your own sound resource files, make inheriting classes, uh, create sound effects with custom behavior, and as a bonus I'll touch uh, sound bosses uh, in Godot, so you could later create controls over volume just for sound effects. So for this tutorial I created a simple showcase project with a super simple player scene. It has just an audio player referenced here and it has some sounds. I have like a four step samples that gets randomly triggered jump sample and blending sample. From animation player I'm triggering this function and it's triggering random sample from the array. In ready function I connected the uh, signals to trigger jump sound or landing sound. In this project I have on only one audio stream player to showcase super simple starting ground. I'm creating a code library, I'm calling Godot library, uh, for different uh, situations I need to solve. So this is the starting uh, situation with sounds, uh, but in the end it will sound exactly the same, uh, but with more fidelity. So I have steps, I have jumping and landing. I'll start with cleaning up the player's code and I'll remove all this stuff relating to sound and leave just player controls. And uh, I need to remove from animation player. That's it. Uh, I have no more sounds. So for my sound system I need to start with two scripts. One for audio stream player and I will create the script. So sound player and another one will be a resource and that will be my sound resource a base class for uh, holding samples and uh, uh, configurations for each one i need class name sound resource and class name sound player. Currently Godot has a little bug um, that doesn't recognize your newly created specific type and when you are exporting a variable with that type you, you can't drag in so you need to reload current project. Let's do that. The sound player is super simple. It will export a variable sound resource with type sound resource and you can call play sound and it, it will be playing the sound. For it to work it needs to pass in self. I want my sound resource to have minimum pitch and maximum pitch so I can randomly have a range. I will export range from minus 80 to plus 24 for volume control as default 0 dB reference a sample so audio stream. Then also I want to have something like ignore the trigger if triggering the sound too fast. And for several manipulations I need to reference the sound player that is uh, triggering the sound. I'm planning to uh, inherit from this sound resource and build uh, more functionality. So I want to override the way how sound resource is giving the sample. And the same is for pitch. 
I want to maybe have some different way how to generate uh, pitch for the sample. Same for volume. This is the main function for sound resource and sound player will trigger it and pass itself there. As mentioned before, I need to know if I'm triggering the sound too fast. So here is the current time in seconds. Then I'm comparing the time if it's uh, past the last time plus the trigger time. If not, uh, canceling the function. If continuing, I'm saving reference to sound player and saving the time this function is triggered. Then configuring the sound player, setting the stream with get sound, setting pitch with uh, pitch function. In this base situation, it's just random pitch from min to max. Setting the volume with get volume function and then finally triggering the sound on the sound player. Currently the sound resource is like the basic of all sound resources I'm going to have. Let's set up the sounds for jump and landing since those are just uh, one sample. Okay let's rename this, duplicate it, then assign scripts. Currently it doesn't have sound resource, so we need to create one in this situation too. To create a sound resource for jump and land, we need to create resources. Since I have class name created for it, it will appear in this list. Sound resource. Yes, and this will be jump sound resource and another one land sound resource i'm double clicking on it and i can see all these exported variables minimal pitch maximum pitch volume and sound for sound jump and for landing landing then our sound player is waiting to get sound resource, so start with jump and land. Save it. Now we need to trigger those. You can trigger them from code, referencing the sound player, then triggering play sound function, but I will do lazier way, like signaling and connect jump sound and trigger play sound like that and for landing connect play sound okay let's save it and test it out yeah sounds are playing jumping and landing now i want to create a sound resource for multiple samples to trigger step sounds. For that I will need to create a new class. It will inherit from my sound resource and I'll call it list sound resource and give it a class name list sound resource add a list for audio streams by list I mean array and I want to give alternative functionality. One for playing in an order and another one to trigger randomly. So I'll export a boolean for random order. For um, orderly playing I need to know what is current index for it to work. As I mentioned I can overwrite certain functions that's in the base class. In this case I need to override the get sound. It looks like that. Everything works the same and when the class is calling get sound, the list sound will work differently. It will check if it's random order, then it's getting a sample for randomly from the array and if it's orderly then it will set up the index by index plus one and modulo sound list size. Uh, modulo is just uh, dividing by certain number and setting the reminder. Then return that sound with that index in the array. That's it. We need to create a resource itself. 
you can see they are uh, inherited from sound resource let's create and step sound resource like that you can see here is the base class but we are not going to use this variable we are using array and i know that there are four sounds let's drag them in like that let's create a uh, control d to duplicate i don't want landing i want step sounds like that let's save to play those sounds we need to trigger them and previously i did it from animation player and i think that's the best way and create cal method and step sounds and uh, insert key and we'll call play sound just like that and find a, another place select ctrl d and you have two triggers for playing that step sounds so let's test it hell yeah it, it works like like it should so the reason to create this system was to have granular control over those sounds like random pitch and volume for example and mix and match uh, volume wise because i think steps are too loud co comparing to jump and land i want them to be lower volume since these are uh, resource files i can go and directly change volume i think something like that should be okay and you can do changes without closing the game and test it right in yeah nice and now i can change the pitch one thing you can keep in mind that uh, going pitch lower you can do way less than going up in the pitch now it sounds like i have more sounds than i had previously let's do adjustments for landing also a little bit lower a little bit higher all right and same for jump all right now we have a random pitch for sound nice with this sound resource approach the sky is limit because you can manipulate the sound triggering however you want and i had an idea to create a nested sound resource like uh, sound player is triggering one but that resource is like doing the same as step sounds having a random list of sound resources but you need to keep in mind not to create a sound resource loop where you are triggering one sound and that's triggering it back okay let's go class name nested sound resource for nested sound resource i need to re overwrite the play function but let's see I certainly need an array of sound resources and also also similar to list sound resource I need a boolean for random order then if it's not in random order I need to save the index let's take an example from here sound resource list like that but I'm not returning I'm triggering that play and passing the sound player like that okay we need to test that for testing purposes i will create uh, just four steps one sound resource i'll duplicate it for step two then i'll create the nested one Oops let's call it like that so step one we'll have sample from step one then step two will step two nested one will have an array of those sound resources and replace the original step sound resource with nested 
<laughs> in this case for nested one it doesn't matter let's test it out Oh yeah, since we are talking about sounds, I want to give another value to my tutorials and mention Godot Audio Buses. And let's create one, add bus, and this will be dedicated to sounds. And each audio stream player has this exported variable for buses. I want all my sounds to be sent to this new sounds bus. If you have played some uh, released games, you have seen that you have faders for uh, music or sound effects. This is the thing. Godot already has that. But you would need to control from scripts the values for these faders. Creating default setup, you can do that in editor. What these buses do is taking your played sound, sending to the bus, like in this situation I'm sending to sounds. You can add effects, then it, it's uh, sending to the master bus. You can have like separate music bus. But for effects, you have access to different creative effects. Like you can have reverb. Let's listen to that. Now you are in the cave. Clicking on it, you can configure it. Okay, it seems that it's not really like a uh, resource where you can tweak that while your game is running. You need to pre-configure them. That's not really great, but you can create nice effects still. You can experiment with that and create uh, really creative effects. Now you should know how to make your own sound effect system and how to give features to your sounds that match your needs. If you have any questions, I welcome you to leave uh, them in comments section. I'm planning to make some additional tutorials around sounds and if that interests you, stick around. Meanwhile, you can join my Discord server and we can talk about sound, music uh, and game dev. Uh, and maybe you can throw me some ideas for tutorials. I hope you like this video, because more are coming your way. So, see you later!